did. Every time the funny girl is up to yeah, I never wanted to talk about nothing. She knows that. The one of me and Jamie attack at a school. Why did she attack Barbie or some other girls? But why not me? Because I knew my position and I was just shut. Now you can okay, come I wanna talk to her, come by some man and in that and talk to her private, I'll talk to her and everything will be fine, Tafanya Dua and life will go on. There is no bastard in this world that can make me tremble or shake. Wamba you it's a white hakuna. And I pangarit kiam to na kadariam to me when it's wrong. I'll tell you one thing. Maybe it's different because our lot that there is nothing I've done. I'm a Muslim baby girl. And for Muslim when a woman are so far. Even you are Ali Kiba and Nifa Nikuelo Likoni wa Penzi. On a farm kwamba Amina. Amina mke wa Alikiba alikuwa anafahamu kwamba Alikiba yuko na nifa kimahusiano. Sasa unakumbuka kwamba mke wa Alikiba aliyeku lalamika kwenye mitandao, sasa kwenye bandika bandua leo King Be the Beast na kupa hii. Amina inasemekana kwamba anafahamu na nifa anajua kwamba Alikiba ana mahusiano, lakini nifa alichokuwa anakipenda kwa Alikiba ni kwa sababu alikuwa ame kwenye position yake ya fulani hivi, kwa sababu tunafahamu Mwanaume anaweza kuwa na wanawake zaidi ya mmoja. Sio unanielewa? Yaani mwanaume anaweza kuwa na wanawake zaidi ya mmoja. Kwa Nifa akasema, "Mimi ni mtoto wa Kiislamu, kwa ni flesh tu." Nifa na Alikiba wamekuwa na mahusiano kwa muda wa miaka mitatu. Kuna chati imevuja. Nifa naulizwa, "Hajawahi kukutafuta?" Nifa anasema, "No. How long were you together?" Umeelewa? akasema more than 3 sasa 3 ni nini ni 3 years alafu we broke up uh, we break up sasa uh, huyu alikuwa na chat naye alikuwa anashangaa kweli kweli anashangaa kwa nini uh, wamekuwa na mahusiano ya miaka mitatu na nifa kwa kuweka was anasema as for me myself huyu ni huyu ni nifa anasema yani kwa upande wake myself yani kwake yeye alikuwa na respect comes first alafu Uh, had to be strong alibidi awe tu uh, mtu ambaye ni imara kwenye nini tunafahamu kwamba uh, nifa alikuwa anatakiwa sana kwenye mitandao yani watu walikuwa wanamshambulia sana kwenye mitandao kwa sababu mahusiano yake na Alikiba sasa Alikiba ni mwanaume ambaye alikuwa ameshaoa amemua mwanamke wake ambaye yupo uh, Kenya anaitwa Amina na wana watoto tayari sasa kuna zile stories zilikuwa nyingi baada Alikiba kuanza ku show off kwenye mitandao kwamba yuko na na mwanadada Nifa watu wakawa namrushia mawe mengi sana kwamba alikiba fanya utoe talaka kwa kwa Amina kiufupi Amina anapitia wakati mgumu Amina huyu huyu ambaye anapitia wakati mgumu ni kwa sababu tu baada ya kuona anaonyesha kwenye mitandao akasema yeye yuko single na hana mahusiano na alikiba umeelewa vizuri sasa Nifa nimepata sauti yake hii hapa akifunguka kwamba yeye alikuwa na mahusiano na umeisikia mara ya kwanza nataka tena uisikilize mara ujaelewa nini kinaendelea lakini jua tu kwamba Nifa alikuwa kwenye penzi zito na alikiba kwa miaka mitatu na wameficha ficha sana Nifa amebidi tu aweke wazi na hivi alikiba kama ni kweli alikuwa na mahusiano na Nifa kwa miaka mitatu ndo huyu ambaye watu wanamzungumzia kwenye mitandao kwamba alikiba bwana na masuala ya mahusiano Um, alikiba ni mtu fulani hivi jamani low key damu ndo anaonekana ni mtu fulani kwenye mahusiano anaruka ruka mno lakini sio alikiba this time around ni fameza ku prove mahusiano yao but i mean it's king be the beast i hope una enjoy sana kwa sababu location ziko nyingi sana ni bandika bandua i think every time i find you look so yeah i never wanted to talk about nothing She knows that. The one of me and Jamie attack at a school. Why did she attack Barbie or some other girls? But why not me? Because I knew my position and I was just shut. Now you can okay, come by, I want to talk to her. I want to see my nanny and I want to talk to her. I'll talk to her and everything will be fine. The thing you do and life will go on. There is no bastard in this world that can make me tremble or shake. Mama, it's a white hakuna. Na ipangarit kiamtu na kadari ya